Hello friends and welcome back to LBQ, the channel that looks to answer all those burning questions you may have. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein, and just a friendly reminder to make sure you are subscribed to our channel and ring that bell so you never miss a video. Although this question is a little different and definitely does not have to do with the demise of the human race like a lot of videos on here, it's still a question that needs to be answered. Of course, as many of the answers on this channel, we're going to hypothetically answer the question because we can't see into the future. Well, I can. Logan actually does win, but that's irrelevant. So today we'll be answering the question, what if Logan Paul beats K? KSI in the rematch. For those of you that don't know, Logan and KSI fought in Manchester, England back on August 25th, 2018. Although there are a handful of opinions over who actually won, the fight was ultimately called as a draw. This led to the two sides agreeing that the only way to settle their rivalry would be to have a rematch. With details of the rematch now being released, it's been confirmed the two will be fighting at the Staples Center in LA on November 9th, 2019. There are a few key differences between the two fights, and these differences may open up a new career path for the YouTubers depending how they look during the fight. Most Notably, in the first fight, Logan and KSI wore headgear, used 12 ounce gloves, and streamed on YouTube. This time around, there's no headgear, the gloves are going to be 10 ounces, and it's being deemed a professional boxing match. So, if Logan were to win, what would happen? Well, technically, now that he's a professional fighter, he could end up pursuing a career as a boxer. I know it sounds crazy, some YouTuber turned into a boxer because he's got millions of subscribers, but let's not forget about Logan's roots. Before he started making videos, he was an avid athlete, and to this day, clearly still is. In fact, when he got his first camera, it was to film himself and his younger brother Jake playing football so they could watch back and see where they could improve. So the idea of Logan pursuing a career as a boxer shouldn't sound so crazy. Throughout high school, he was an accomplished wrestler and can clearly fight given the fact that in just three months of training, he was able to keep up with KSI, who had already had a fight under his belt before getting into the ring with Logan. Of course, all all of this depends on how well Logan fights, but if he wins, the odds would be in his favor in comparison to if he were to lose. But of course, we also have to look at other scenarios here. The fight could cause Logan to have some serious brain damage. When he wrestled in high school, it was about pinning and takedowns, not punches to the face. When he fought KSI the first time, he had headgear on. I'm not saying Logan can't take a punch, but in a fight against someone who clearly doesn't like you, well, you could bet Logan's going to be hit in the head a bunch of times, assuming the fight doesn't end in the early rounds. Aside from the obvious head trauma he could possibly endure from the fight, who knows what other injuries he could sustain from the fight, win or lose. A bruised or broken hand, injured ribs, the list can go on and on. But if he gets the best of KSI and assuming the rematch, which is being streamed on DAZN, does well in regards to pay-per-view, there's a real possibility Logan could think of switching careers. Now let me say, I don't think Logan is going to be a YouTuber turned boxer, even though he already somewhat has. I'm just saying it's a possibility. The guy's a natural born athlete, he's made millions on millions, and has been dominating the YouTube game for years. Eventually, you need a challenge a change of pace, something fresh and exciting. And becoming a professional boxer would be a huge challenge for Logan. There's also the possibility that Logan's win inspires other YouTubers to call him out for a fight or vice versa. Let's not forget, after KSI beat Joe Weller in their bout, KSI called out Jake Paul. Eventually his focus would be on Logan after Logan stepped up and said he'd fight KSI. So who's to say a win for Logan wouldn't lead to yet another fight with a new opponent. Although it is believed they're actually going to be having a third match in Manchester also streamed on DAZN. As always, I love hearing from you guys, so be sure to drop us some comments below with who you think is going to win in general, Logan or KSI, and let me know why. Personally, I think Logan's going to take it. He's on home turf, no traveling, no time change. He's had more time to train compared to their first fight. I don't know, I just got a feeling. I also could see into the future, which I mentioned before. But please do let me know what you think in the comments down below. For now, let's respond to some comments from the video, what if an earthquake split the world in half? Earth Planet said, am I a joke to you? Listen, dude, I was just kidding around. Like, I didn't mean anything by it. Don't get so, you know, emotional about it bro, but please stay healthy. Jaden Fig said, I got a better question. What if Tom never left Blink-182? I mean, it's not much of a question. They just continue making incredible music. Like, they're probably one of the greatest bands of all time. That's a boost. Not of all time. It's probably the Beatles, but I like Blink-182 a lot, so they would continue to make great music. I know they're still making music, but it's just not the same without Tom. I saw them live in concert like a couple weeks ago, and I just, it wasn't the same. Anyways, guys, that does it for this video. As always, let us know in the comments down below who you think is going to win the fight. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with a friend, and of course, subscribe to our channel so you guys never miss a video. We'll see you guys soon in the next one.